Mm. Hey, we're switching it up today, y'all. Hey. That's, that's why I, I love Sister Circle. Yes. Right. Switch it I up. actually love when we have switch ups. Yeah, I know. When the show is just, you know. I know you love that. I love yes. when it's yes. just organic. Yes. 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 Well, welcome back to the Switched Up Sister Circle. Yes. Live. <laughs> it's time for our full circle where we come together and take the time to discuss a subject that we've been thinking about and hopefully will be meaningful to you once we talk about yeah. it. Yeah. You know, every year there's a new phone or a new mm -hmm. car, mm -hmm. a new something enticing you to trade in what's old for something that is new. And this raised the question, are we living in a trade-up society? Has mm. our new lease on life become leasing out our life? That's deep. Mm. That's very... We're going deep today. We're going to go ahead and, I mean, well, we got go well, seven, in. eight minutes to go deep talk. Come okay, on, man. Let me, let me talk to you guys about something. And, and in certain areas of life, trading up is a positive. Come on, now. Huge mm -hmm. positive, huge plus. And now there's not so much. Now, let's talk about... A career, mm -hmm. okay? Maybe a job. You've worked hard, you've um, worked your way through the ranks, and now you're up for promotion, mm -hmm. right? So that is a good trade-up, right? Right? Yeah. right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, uh -oh. there are some that are not so good, okay? okay. You know, Break you might down. think you trading up a better woman, right? <laughs> but you're not. <laughs> you're really trading right. 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 I'm, I'm just saying, in a relationship, yes. right? And right. You, just, you, you, you might not be. Right. The grass ain't greener. I don't know how to say it. Well, you keep trying to upgrade folks, and they just keep choosing coach. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't know what it is. <laughs> you give them the ticket, you say, here's first class. And they, and they, they say, say no. no. I'm going to go sit in the back. back. <laughs> there are some people who have the mentality that they will sabotage almost anything yeah. that is set up perfectly for them because of a little bit of uncomfortability. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then they don't want to trade up for themselves. So basically, you're, you're, you're telling yourself you're not worthy enough for the trade so you mm -hmm. talk yourself out, out of, it. of the trade up yes, in your life. I've done that my entire life until recently mm -hmm. because I'm like, if I can't trade up my own self, then I will never be right. where I'm supposed to be. I'll be sitting in coach, and that's nothing wrong. Cause I, I coach all the it's time. It's just, it's just a, yes. a metaphor. Mm -hmm. Metaphor. It's I understand. Just want anybody to get misconstrued here on our yeah. Yeah. sister I, I, circle. I think that the world that we live in right now is a lot of pressure mm -hmm. to always have bigger mm -hmm. and better mm -hmm. and more. You know, um, you know, women want bigger butts and fellas yeah, well, bigger butts, mm -hmm. and guys want bigger cars mm -hmm. or you know whatever. Or you want the the what do they call them? The foreign girls. What do they call the girls? exotic? The exotic they girls. They want. They want <laughs> Like, I couldn't remember the name, but you know, my thing is, it's always the, you know, what I have right now is not enough, mm -hmm. and then if I get more, I'll be better, mm -hmm. and I'll get the win, I'll have the trophy, I'll do this. So unfortunately, I think all of the, the world we live in, social media, mm -hmm. and the pressures that we put on ourselves, and each other, yeah. to be more and have more, it, it's just, that's it, our reality. Actually, you're just putting yourself on a hamster wheel. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, constantly chasing, I mean, even comparing yourself to someone else, or what they have in the life you think they have, because mm -hmm. often it's not what you think. Come on now. And you're looking and watching them on social media. Oh, this person is on this trip, and this person has this and that other. Uh, why are you living your your life instead of you're, yeah. you're trying to live their life instead of yeah. living your life? Right. And I think yeah. that you know we need to kind of put things in perspective. Right? Yeah, and yeah. and and I think that a lot of us we just lack the the mental ability to understand that sometimes we're not living our best life. Mm -hmm. Okay. I feel like um, because of what Kiana talked about, how there's so much pressure mm. and because of our just environment that fosters to have to have more all the time, mm -hmm. we miss out on what we already have right. and who we already are. Yeah. And, and if there's one thing that I do know in, in, in my relationship, less not less is more, but the grass is not always greener on right. the other exactly. side. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we just, I think we need to, as an economy, just need to work on being more grateful. Mm -hmm. yeah, because good. when you can appreciate the things that you have, then things will be given unto you anyway. anyway. Yeah, yeah, because I think that so many people get so... Um, they get so worried about what is to come mm -hmm. that yeah. they miss out on the moment. And I know yeah. in the beginning of this year, I wanted to spend more time being intentional about um, where I am yeah. and being intentional about the moment mm -hmm. and savoring every moment and every yes. interaction with person. And speaking yeah. of interaction, I think social media has strained relationships because yes. it's like, oh, let me send Quad a text on her birthday and I actually called you on yeah. your birthday. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, instead of like doing those types of things that used to mean so much to yeah. us, yeah. we do it now through cell phone. You think that has thought behind it. And you, generally it does. And I have sent birthday shout outs. But that day I was like, 
And then you kind of got to know the person. Right. I know Quad, and she would want to hear my voice yes. instead yes. of, you know, yes. receiving a text, text that yes. day. Mm -hmm. But I think that, you know, uh, social media has really just given us the, girl, you saw what I put on my page. You know I was going through something. No, I didn't see. I got right. a thousand right. people right. on my right. right. Don't right. assume just because you posted it that that person knows exactly yes. what's going on in your life or what you did the night before. Right. Or you have so to on. tag them. You got yes. to tag them. <laughs> <laughs> You can DM me. me. If you can DM me. Social media know how to do it. Yeah. Okay, because then you can be effective. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. <laughs> because it's so it's so true. So many people. I did. I I, I put a comment. You didn't see my comment? No, 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 no girl. No, it's you a half a million me. people following me. Right. I did not see your right. comment. No, right. I didn't. Man. Sorry, call me. Yes. Yeah, but that's you know. true. That's very true. Mm -hmm. And and then it is and it's it's ironic because that's all we used to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, yeah. and it's just. I, I think I, I think setting goals. I don't want people to get this misconstrued, but set, setting goals for yourself is amazing. I think everyone should mm -hmm. definitely. But what I don't want people to get into is running and chasing someone else's life. Yes. Yeah. That's what I don't want people to do. And I think somewhere down the line in, in social media, that kind of happens to mm -hmm. us. So I don't know. If we're really trying to do that. I think we just see something and say, "Oh, I, I wish I was doing that. I want to do that, or whatever." You know? Yeah. Well, I, just, well, I don't roll, <laughs> but that's just me. And I mean, this is the new, not new, Rashawn, but I'm. 42 years old, and I don't really care about what else I'm but, doing and, and, you know, on social media. But, but we're talking about, I mean, because we're having this conversation, because there is a 16-year-old girl who may be home Correct. from school today yeah. watching this saying, oh my gosh, Ms. Rashawn doesn't think that uh, looking at someone else's social media validates her, so maybe when I look at someone else's page this time, I won't make, I won't try to have that life. I want to be yeah. comfortable with who I am, and that's why we talk about these particular Sis, issues. Yes. 16 and 60. Somebody out there care, you know what I mean? Right. And it's very unfortunate, but the, the the internet has given put us in this kind of micro environment mm -hmm. where you, everybody's right. looking, always checking my likes, my oh, my tweets, and this. So at the end of the day, I think it's just we're just programmed right now mm. to want more and greater and bigger. Ooh, Ooh. my goodness! Yeah. Well, that's it for us. We're ending the show here. Can wow. we believe yeah, it? That's so fun. That is fun. <laughs> we want to thank all of our amazing guests who came to the circle today and yes. tomorrow. The boss, hey. Rashida Frost from Love & Hip Hop Atlanta will be here. We loved having you inside the circle. Cannot wait to do it again. Yeah.